Hi guys, this is Duncan from dunksblog.com and here I am with my Samsung Galaxy Nexus which I've recently purchased over a Nexus 4 because this has OTG support, a user replaceable battery and a thriving community. Now a member of that community has created a ROM called JB Sorcery and this is probably the most customizable ROM I've ever seen. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a tour. The first thing is normally when you put your thumb over the top you'll see that it just brings down the notifications. All I'm going to do is hold my thumb there and drag it across the screen and you'll notice that the brightness is getting lighter and darker so that's a nice little brightness setting very quick to access if you need to the second thing is that this comes with inverted apps now I chose the maximum or maximus version of the apps which uh, gives me all the extra ones but you can see for example Google Plus usually would have a light background now it's dark uh, we have things like black Facebook if I go there now you'll see it, it was trying to ask me to sign in and uh, black Twitter we go there too. But most of the uh, Google apps have been skinned too, including Google Now and Google Search. So if I just drag up and then uh, have that come up, there we go. You can see that it's Discover Google Now and that's all dark too. So as you know, I'm a big fan of having things like that because it saves the eyes and it actually looks pretty good too. So let's go ahead and go into the uh, little tools that get provided with JB Sorcery. You'll see there's two here, Sorcery Tools and Trickster Mod. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into Trickster Mod just to show you how in-depth this is. Uh, let's go to the info. So it tells me all about the uh, device at the top and then tells me about my CPU, the states it's been in, so you can see that it goes up to 1.2 gigahertz and the current state it's in, the RAM usage and the battery temperature, which is quite nice. Normally you'd have to download an extra app for this to tell you the stuff. We have ADB over Wi-Fi, if you don't know what that is then don't mess with it. <laughs> uh, we have the bootloader lock state, device host name and stuff to do with the kernel. So you can go ahead and back those up if you need to. If we go to general you'll see that uh, again there's more CPU stuff here. We have the governors which I'm sure those of you who know about Android know that you can change the governor so it can scale up and scale down uh, based on different circumstances and uh, if we go across again specific for this uh, kernel you'll see I have content adaptive brightness so normally on this Galaxy Nexus there is an issue with whites and that they're a little bit dull this actually brightens them up as you can see they, they kind of pop a little bit on the, uh, on the video it's quite nice to have the second thing I highly recommend checking is the high performance sound. Now this comes with DSP which is common on quite a few ROMs, uh, if I can get to it. Now the settings I have for DSP is that uh, the there should be bass boost, Oops, let's go to the headset one, that's the one. Uh, bass boost is enabled for me. I also have the loudest now, loudness compensation as strong. And I think that's it really, but if you get a good pair of headphones with that and put it in here with these settings uh, accompanied by that uh, the uh, high quality sound, we can get back to it, Trickster Mod, yeah the high performance sound, uh, it will sound a lot better than even an iPhone would sound and that obviously has all that iPhone uh, iPod stuff. So anyway, uh, it's got a few more things, headphone volume boost. Now this uh, Nexus by default sounds really quiet through the speaker but with this ROM it will increase the sound by default too so you get a much uh, better sound when you're watching videos or if you're listening to music. Uh, we have the vibrator strength which I guess is for the ladies and uh, we have GPU overclocking, MPU overclocking, a bunch of different overclocking features which obviously you really don't want to mess with. Um, unless you really know what you're doing. So that's specific to the kernel here. And then we have the screen. This could be useful for uh, all these people that are having issues with cold screens or warm screens. You can then adjust this so you can uh, have a go the other way and make it look a little bit more to your tastes. So that pretty much is the Trickster mod. Very nice if you're looking to get into the hardware level of things. Now Sorcery Tools is an awesome database of stuff that you can get for your device. So if I go ahead and show you the featured, we have weather icon, searchlight, extra apps, app wallpaper, animated pull downs. So what is animated pull downs? If I go ahead and pull down, you'll see it shows my network and it also shows this little pulsating beam. Now this is changeable, you simply need to click this and the great thing about this uh, JB Sorcery is that it can preview stuff uh, before you see them. But there is a large amount of things that you can get, these are all the pull downs you can have. Uh, if I go back, I go ahead to the icons, I can go ahead and change a heck of a lot of things here. We have battery soft key status bar, misc, weather icons, lock screen circle, lock screen glow dots and searchlight. Now I don't think there's anything I want to change at the moment, but uh, I will go ahead and do that in the future. 
animations, boot animations, the font, the pull down wallpaper, so again that's that bit when you pull down, this time it's that area. Um, the animator pull downs again, app wallpaper and mods and a device manager. As you can see there's just a lot of stuff you can do. You can change the push notifications if you want updates from the wrong creators on when an update is available or if they've added anything extra or there's tips on stuff that you may have missed. Uh, themes, if you want to go ahead and just do an entire theme instead of go, go through individual things like the icons back here. Uh, again, so much stuff. A lot of these, this, these things are, are done by default inside other ROMs, but you don't really get the option to change them without downloading extra stuff and worrying about that. Into the tools, we have the dev tools. If I go into the dev tools, you'll see. I wonder if that's a bit too bright for the camera. Can we uh, go put that down a bit? There we go. And uh, yeah, you can see the developer options again. There's a bunch of stuff here, a lot of cool things. Uh, and then system, you can block ads, cache cleaner fixed permissions, white battery status, if line applications, and then we have the kernel area. So you can literally download the kernels inside the ROM just from this area and apply them. There's a lot of kernels for this. I have heard that the Franco kernel is probably the most favored out of all of these, but uh, again, there's a lot of customization and this is all done through the tools area. Now this goes even further than that. This actually comes by default with Apex Launcher. So again, as you know, with Android, you can change the launcher and you can get all these funky things like you can change as many icons as you like on the screen, you can have resizable widgets and stuff like that. I'm probably gonna switch this out for Nova Launcher because I have Nova Launcher Prime and I have the, uh, the grouping of the tabs, for example, in the uh, application area, that's quite nice. And uh, a few other bits. But let's go into the, uh, a little bit further into the JB Sorcery ROM and go to this time to the control center. So I have my uh, battery here on the top right. Uh, not a big fan of the standard battery because you don't really know what it's, it's doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the battery bit, go to battery icon style, and then I'm probably gonna turn on, uh, I could turn on the battery mods, in which case you'll see what I downloaded earlier from the JB tools, which is the little Android guy. Uh, but I actually prefer to have something like the CM circle with percentage. So it's a little circle. I apologize if that's still good to see, but that essentially tells you exactly the percentage inside a circle and that will go red when it requires a charge. But again, you can see there's a lot of things I can change. I can change the colors here. And uh, yeah, that is the battery area. Now the clock area, You'll see normally on Android that the clock is on the top right. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to the center. So that's quite nice. I, for some reason, like the clock being in the center. And again, there's a lot of different things here that you can change. Uh, the signal, this is uh, involving things like showing the text on, on the top instead of an icon. I just prefer them to be icons because they're easier to read, but if you wanna go further than that, you can. We have the magical UI. So you can change a bunch of stuff here. Uh, the recents, blah, blah, blah. Disable the boot animation, enable the volume panel, because by default, uh, if you put volume up and down, you just get the standard thing here. But you can go ahead and enable that if you wish. Disable the boot animation, CRT, so you know when you lock it, it does that. You can do it so it does it for uh, screen on two. So if I enable that, do it again, you can see it's, uh, it's very much the same. I think I might keep that actually. Uh, anything else worth looking at? I don't think so. Custom carrier label, I guess. I'll just have it showing. Uh, these are the sort of things you used to be able to do on the uh, Apple devices. So I'll just put donks. Oops. Donks. Oh, yes, you can also see here that they've also scan uh, skinned the, uh, the keyboard, which is quite nice. It just looks better with the OS. So now if I scroll down, you'll see donks. Yay! So that's cool. Let's go back and uh, go to status bar magic. You'll see that it has the status bar, I can change the background of it, or I can disable all those ticket animations uh, for those things that come across and show you like what you have on your messages. If you wanna disable those, you can here. We have the tablet mode options. So this is very much like Paranoid Android. Uh, for those of you who know about that, that allows you to have like the bar at the bottom instead of the top. You can change things, you can change the width. All that sort of stuff is inside here, which is quite nice. And the navigation bar. So this is the navigation bar at the bottom as it stands. I'm going to actually put four there. So I'm gonna, oops, let's change that. Actually go to choose how many soft keys. I'm gonna choose four. So it's added a nice little extra one down here. And I'm then gonna change it. Here we go, button four. I'm gonna change that 
to search because search is something you do quite a lot on your phone if you want to Google something quickly. So that now that has a permanent search button down there. So I can put as many as I want really down there. And again, there's a lot of customization. I might actually uh, change the height and make it a little bit less. I'm going to have a 30. So there's a, a lot more re screen real estate which I like, as you can see, there's a lot here because obviously it has the 1280 by 720 display so it's pretty nice uh, what else do we have? Pi controls? I'm going to go ahead and enable these but this will allow you to just grant that uh, do the Pi controls, if you don't know about those for Android it essentially is a hotspot on your phone where you hold it there and it will branch out around where you've touched it um, a bunch of different things that you can do uh, so you can put um, apps, custom apps, you can do the controls down here on the Pi, all those different things, it's quite useful to have. So we have the power menu, I've got a few things here I already have, so expanded desktop screenshot, the torch toggle, so if I go ahead and try and turn it off you'll see I have a bunch of things I can do here. This is something that's usually standard on Android phones. And then there's the lock screen, which shows you all the different things you can do with the lock screen, which I don't really mess with to be honest, but there's a lot here. And then there's the LED. One great thing I love about this and the Nexus 4 is that you get a nice LED. But it, what's even better than that is that that LED can be pretty much any colour you want. So if I say selected app, I'll just go default and I think I can just, uh, I think I need to just press the, there we go, press that. And you can see I have every colour pretty much that I can change this to. So for example, if I wanted to go, uh, I want to go to red. Let me go to red. Why is it not letting me go? Here we go. Actually no, I'll go for, I'll go for. Uh, I think I have to move it. Be really careful with the slider here. I'll go for a dark purple. Let's set it. So that should hopefully be set. So now if I test the LED, press this, lock the screen. Oh, it's actually showing the old one. But you can change it there. I've obviously not done it properly, but you can test it, change it, and uh, do whatever you wish with that. So that's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, that pretty much covers the control center. Uh, one thing I would like to do, which I may not have just seen, I think it's on the uh, scroll down menu, which is the, uh, no, it's not here. I think it might be in the uh, the other thing. But anyway, um, essentially what I can do also is on this menu, um, you can actually add three contacts. I may have already shown it earlier, but you can add three contacts and that makes it nice and easy to have those two. So this pretty much sums it up. This is the JB Sorcery uh, ROM, custom ROM. It's available for the Galaxy Nexus and also their I think is one for the uh, Nexus 7. Unfortunately, I don't think there is one for the Nexus 4 yet, but I reckon it would be coming very soon. So, uh, if you guys like these Android videos, I'm more than happy to create more of them. I can go ahead and show you what this phone is like when it's not making a data connection. Uh, when it's um, fully customized, once I put everything on it that I want, I can go ahead and show you what that's like. Or if you'd like to see some apps and things like that, please let me know in the comments. If not, please let me know if suggestions you'd like for the next video, and I'll have a look at them and see what we can come up with. So thanks for watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like these videos, and thanks again.